Mm -hmm. So if, if someone has a life-threatening uh, situation going on with, with some kind of infection, how long does it take for it to start taking effect? That, that's a really good question. We, we're, we're just about to publish a series of case histories Mm -hmm. And these are all people who have uh, an active or had an active MRSA infection. Um, we actually swabbed all of them, swabbed their wound sites if they had mm -hmm. a wound site. Sometimes you don't even have to have a wound site. You can get MRSA in the back of your throat and mm -hmm. you end up coughing up lots of horrible green right. phlegm, which is the yeah. pus that the bug produces. So these patients came from all over the UK. One or two actually came from America as well. And what we did was we swabbed them all beforehand to prove in our laboratories back in the UK that they did have a MRSA infection. Mm -hmm. So we, we had a good starting base. We then uh, basically prescribed our treatments to these people, and that would be the capsules. We have a cream version, but we also now in America, we have a gel version, Allogel, which is a, like an aloe vera based gel, right. which can be you know, put around the wound or into the wound or uh, um, and applied directly to that wound area. And over a period of weeks, these wounds heal up. Um, the infection is, is basically removed from the body. And basically, you then take a swab at the end of that treatment period, and you prove that there's no MRSA there anymore. Now, some people can do that in four or five weeks. Some people, it takes three or four months. It really depends on how big the wound site is, how, how, um, how invasive the bacteria is, how how, how virulent the infection is. But what we do is we guarantee that every single one of our products is actually tested against a MRSA bug before it's released for sale into the market. So that's wow. our guarantee to the customer is that the capsules, the creams, the, the, uh, the, the gels will definitely kill a MRSA bug. And my colleague, Dr. Ron Cutler, he's a clinical microbiologist mm -hmm. over in England. He, he, uh, he runs the bioscience laboratory at the University of East London. Mm -hmm. He was the guy that first really um, showed us how, how, how amazing this stuff was, and that was quite by accident. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So if it, if it kills the MRSA, it pretty much kills anything. I mean, even uh, like nail fungus or anything, oh, any, yeah. any kind of, any type of infection, it doesn't matter how small or large, whatever it is, it's... It's that, on the job. Huh? That's absolutely right. I mean, you're quite right there. Any, anything from a small, simple infection to a really nasty one like a MRSA. Um, you know, the common cold is a very common infection. It's a yeah. simple viral infection. Um, so we can, get rid of, we can get rid of simple viruses. Um, we can get rid of nasty bugs like E. coli and salmonella that you might pick up from poorly cooked meats mm -hmm. or from poorly washed salads if you're going into parts of Europe uh, and, the, and, and the Far East. You know, the water supply is not terribly good and you can pick up a, a bug that'll give you an upset tummy very quickly. Allison, stabilized Allison, is incredibly good at getting rid of those sorts of bugs. So you might have to take a big dose, um, mm -hmm. you know, six to 10 capsules in one go, right. but I can guarantee that you'll get rid of an upset tummy just like that. Yeah. And I've certainly, I've certainly experienced that personally. So, um, and you're, you're quite right, anything that has a, a bacterial, fungal, or viral background. So if you think about on your skin surface, that's a lot of, lot of conditions. Acne, eczema, psoriasis, warts. Warts are really difficult to get rid of. Why? Because they're a viral infection. There aren't many antiviral drugs, but certainly the allergen is incredibly good uh, at getting rid of, of warts. And, and you know, those can be quite troublesome to people. If you have toxins in your body or a level of toxicity, will it improve that? Or I mean, how does that work? Yeah, generally speaking, Allison will, will, will detoxify the body. We, we have a couple of products in the States that are specifically meant to detoxify the liver, for example, because mm -hmm. that is the organ, as you know, that really deals with all the rubbish that our body produces. Um, and, and the Allison basically allows the liver to regenerate and rest a little bit. So um, you can get rid of parasites, for example, with Allison. A lot of, a lot of people in America do carry a level of parasite infection in their, in their tummies or stomachs. Um, so it's very good at getting rid of that type of infestation as well. We have some data, it's not published yet, so I can't go into any details, but we've just completed a study on Lyme disease, mm -hmm. which you know is, a, is potentially a major problem across the United States. Yeah. And it's been a very successful study, and hopefully you know, maybe I'll get invited back one day to Nashville and we can talk about that in more detail. But um, you know, 
things like Lyme disease, chronic fatigue syndrome, mm -hmm. some of the really difficult problems that people suffer from, Alison seems to have at least the propensity to help these people. So we, we you know, we, we hope it's going to be, you know, a, a, big, a big product over the next five to ten years. Speaking of Lyme, uh, that's an interesting tie you have there. That's, <laughs> uh, looks like garlic. On it your is, tie. yes, it is, that's right. This is, um, this is hand painted by my wife, Debbie, back in the UK. Great. She very kindly did this just for my trip to Nashville this time. Can we zoom so, in on the tie? <laughs> Probably can, can't see it too good right now. This is now. what makes me a garlic expert, you see. I wear garlic ties. <laughs> it's a little bit that. bright for the. There we go. But, uh, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it's, it's quite unique. I don't think there are many of these in the world. <laughs> your, your wife may become a tie designer. <laughs> well, I, I, think, I think she'd like to do that, certainly, yes. <laughs> well, she certainly did a good job of painting that. It looks just like garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, can... So, so I mean, this, this, this is amazing. It, it, it detoxifies the body. It, it, uh, does, is it a cure? I mean, does it cu actually cure disease or it just treats the symptoms? I mean, how does it? Well, you know, cure is one of these funny words that people who have natural products are never supposed to use mm -hmm. because, you know, the pharmaceutical industry is very powerful, the medical doctor industry is very powerful, and they like mm -hmm. to see treatments that are supported by good quality data. We do at least have some good quality data, and we can show that Allison can cure people and right. that's what the the Mercer study is all about you can't really argue with somebody who has an infection they get treated with the material and then they 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 basically are cured because the mm -hmm. infection is no longer there I think the important thing to bring out is that Mercer is a major problem worldwide right. and there are only three drugs that could be used to treat a Mercer infection two of those are pharmaceutical agents which are very toxic to the body um, and the third is this allergen combination, allicin and ginger, and that's a natural product. So it's, it, uh, one thing I'd like to pick up on is the, is the detoxification. Sometimes mm -hmm. people go through a healing crisis if they go on to large doses, mm -hmm. and you can get sweaty, you can get a rash, but you go through that window and eventually you come out the other side and hopefully we've, we've, we've treated your, your problem. That's amazing. Okay, allicin is being touted as nature's antibiotic, antifungal, and antiviral. Uh, this is not, are these claims exaggerated? I mean, is, is, it re is it really helping a lot of people out there already? Or I, I would say these claims are definitely not exaggerated, not exaggerated. In, in terms of, uh, of the work that we've completed in the last mm -hmm. four years alone. We've looked at fungal species like Candida. We've looked at viruses like the common cold virus. And obviously we've looked at bacteria like MRSA, TB, we've looked at uh, E. coli, Salmonella, a wide range of these organisms. And if you go and look at the, I mean, the, the material obviously is, is patent protected. And part of our patent includes a wide cross-section of bacterial species mm -hmm. that we know are sensitive to allicin. In other words, allicin can kill them. Yeah. In fact, my book, The Heart of Garlic, at the, right. at the back, I list all of the species of virus, bacteria, fungus, and parasite infection that we know allicin can get rid of. The, the difficult thing is how much, how long, how often do you have to take right. the stuff to get that result. And that's where the book hopefully helps people to understand that you don't necessarily get a result in a minute or a right. day or a week. It can take longer. But that's always the case with natural products because the body understands what they're doing. It knows where to push them mm -hmm. to help the body in the best possible way. So it's, you, you've got to be in there for the long term. And I firmly believe that people should be on this stuff long term because of the immune boosting properties. I mean, there are lots of immune boosters out there, obviously. Yeah. But this one has the, uh, the, the benefit of not, on, uh, not only being able to boost your immunity to infection, but to be able to prevent a reinfection and at the same time get rid of that infectious episode and that means, you know, it's, it's an all-round good type of thing for the vast majority of people to try. Mm -hmm. And you had mentioned the candida or candida. Yes. I, I, I do you say candida? Do I you? don't know. <laughs> I don't know either way. <laughs> uh, but uh, this was found to actually inhibit the formation of mycotoxins? Yes, that's right. I mean, I mean obviously, you know that candida is, is an incredibly difficult organism mm -hmm. to get rid of. Right. It's all throughout the body. It's, it's, um, some of the work we're doing over in the UK at the moment shows that these um, 
funguses are very good at um, communicating with each other. In a